Hello everybody, my name is Marsha and I am so happy to share with you today one of my favorite poetry books, Now We Are Six by A. A. Milne with decorations or drawings by Ernest H. Shepard. And the AA stands for Alan Alexander. In the poems of this book, six-year-old Christopher Robin tells us how he spends his days and all about his friends. Let's meet him. In this first poem called Busy, Christopher amuses himself by running around his, play, his playroom, or he calls it his nursery, and he pretends a lot. Busy. I think I am a muffin man. I haven't got a bell. I haven't got the muffin things that muffin people sell. Perhaps I am a postman. No, I think I am a tram. I'm feeling rather funny and I don't know what I am. But round about and round about and round about I go. All around the table, the table in the nursery. Round about and round about and round about I go. I think I am a traveler escaping from a bear. I think I am an elephant behind another elephant, behind another elephant who isn't really there. So round about and 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 round about I go. I think I am a ticket man who's selling tickets, please. I think I am a doctor who is visiting a sneeze. Perhaps I'm just a nanny who is walking with a pram. I'm feeling rather funny and I don't know what I am, but round about and round about and round about and round about I go. I think I am a puppy <laughs> hanging out my tongue. I think I am a camel who is looking for a camel, who is looking for a camel, who is looking for its young. So, round about and round about and round about and round about and round about I go. <laughs> Christopher tires himself out by running around so much, but he's not alone because Christopher has a best, best, best friend his teddy bear, and his friend's name is Pooh, us too. Ah, wherever I am, there's always Pooh. There's always Pooh and me. Whatever I do, he wants to do. Oh, where are you going today, says Pooh. Well, that's very odd, because I was too. Let's go together, says Pooh, says he. Let's go together, says Pooh. What's twice eleven, I said to Pooh. Twice what, said Pooh to me. I think it ought to be twenty-two. Just what I think myself, said Pooh. It wasn't an easy sum to do, but that's what it is, said Pooh, said he. That's what it is, said Pooh. Let's look for dragons, I said to Pooh. Yes, let's said Pooh to me. We crossed the river and found a few. Yes, those are dragons, all right, said Pooh. As soon as I saw their beaks, I knew. That's what they are, said Pooh, said he. That's what they are, said Pooh. Let's frighten the dragons, I said to Pooh. That's right, said Pooh to me. I'm not afraid, I said to Pooh. And I held his paw and I shouted, shoo, silly old dragons, and off they flew. I wasn't afraid, said Pooh, said he. I'm never afraid with you. So wherever I am, there's always Pooh. There's always Pooh and me. What would I do, I said to Pooh, if it wasn't for you? And Pooh said, true, it isn't much fun for one. But two can stick together, says Pooh, says he. That's how it is, says Pooh. You see how they're climbing the stairs, going up to bed together? Such best friends. In fact, my friends, 
poo goes everywhere with Christopher and watches everything Christopher does. He even watches Christopher as Christopher watches raindrops racing each other at the window pane, waiting at the window. These are my two drops of rain waiting on the window pane. I am waiting here to see which the winning one will be. Both of them have different names. One is John and one is James. All the best and all the worst comes from which of them is first. James has just begun to ooze. He's the one I want to lose. John is waiting to begin. He's the one I want to win. James is going slowly on. Something sort of sticks to John. John is moving off at last. James is going pretty fast. John is rushing down the pane. James is going slow again. James has met a sort of smear. John is getting very near. Is he going fast enough? James has found a piece of fluff. John has hurried quickly by. James was talking to a fly. John is there and John has won. Look, I told you. Here's the sun. <laughs> they have so much fun together. Now, Christopher has a nanny. A nanny that he loves very much. A lady who takes care of him. But one day, Something happened that Christopher had to forgive his nanny for. Forgiven. Let's find out what it is. I found a little beetle, so that beetle was his name, and I called him Alexander, and he answered just the same. I put him in a matchbox, and I kept him all the day, and nanny let my beetle out. Yes, Nanny let my beetle out. She went and let my beetle out, and beetle ran away. She said she didn't mean it, and I never said she did. She said she wanted matches, and she just took off the lid. She said that she was sorry, but it's difficult to catch an excited sort of beetle you've mistaken for a match. She said that she was sorry, and I really mustn't mind, as there's lots and lots of beetles, which she's certain we could find. If we looked about the garden for the holes where beetles hid, and we'd get another matchbox and write beetle on the lid. We went to all the places which a beetle might be near, and we made the sort of noises which a beetle likes to hear, and I saw a kind of something, and I gave a sort of shout. A beetle house, an Alexander beetle coming out. It was Alexander beetle, I'm as certain as can be. And he had a sort of look as if he thought it must be me. And he had a sort of look as if he thought he ought to say, I'm very, very sorry that I tried to run away. And Nanny is very sorry, too, for you know what she did. And she's writing Alexander very blackly on the lid. So Nan and me are friends because it's difficult to catch an excited Alexander. You've mistaken for a match. Well, it's very nice that Christopher has forgiven his beloved Nanny. He has another friend. A special friend, a friend that only Christopher can see. His name is Binker. Binker, what I call him, is a secret of my own. And Binker is the reason why I never feel alone. Playing in the nursery, sitting on the stair. Whatever I am busy at, Binker will be there. Oh, Daddy is clever. He's a clever sort of man. And Mommy is the best since the world began. Nanny is Nanny. Uh, and I call her Nan. But they can't see Binker. Binker's always talking because I'm teaching him to speak. He sometimes likes to do it in a funny sort of squeak. 
and he sometimes likes to do it in a hoodling sort of roar and I have to do it for him because his throat is rather sore. Oh, Daddy is clever. He's a clever sort of man. And Mummy knows all that anybody can. And Nanny is Nanny, and I call her Nan. But they don't know Binker. Binker's brave at lions when we're running in the park. Binker's brave as tigers when we're lying in the dark. Binker's brave as elephants. He never, never cries, except like other people when the soap gets in his eyes. See the soap in his eyes? Oh, daddy is daddy. He's a daddy sort of man. And mummy is mummy. She's as mummy as anybody can. And nanny is nanny. And I call her nan. But they're not like Binker. Binker isn't greedy, but he does like things to eat. So I have to say to people when they're giving me a sweet Oh, Binker wants a chocolate, so could you give me two? And then I eat it for him, because his teeth are rather new. Well, I'm very fond of Daddy, but he hasn't time to play. And I'm very fond of Mummy, but she sometimes goes away. And I'm often cross with Nanny when she wants to brush my hair. But Binker's always Binker, and he's certain to be there. <laughs> I'm so glad that Christopher has so many friends. Now the last special friend that Christopher wants you to meet is a girl and her name is Anne. They go for a morning walk together. When Anne and I go out and walk, we hold each other's hand and talk of all the things we mean to do when Anne and I are 42. And when we thought about a thing like bowling hoops or bicycling or falling down on Anne's balloon, we do it in the afternoon. They have so much fun together. But this particular poem coming up is, I think, Christopher's special love poem to Anne. And he calls it Buttercup Days. Where is Anne? Head above the buttercups, walking by the stream down among the buttercups. Where is Anne? Walking with her man. Lost in a dream. Lost among the buttercups. What has she got in that little brown head? Wonderful thoughts which can never be said. What has she got in that firm little fist of hers? Somebody's thumb and it feels like Christopher's. Where is Anne? Close to her man. Brown head, gold head, in and out the buttercups. Oh, Christopher loves Anne so much. What a day it's been for Christopher Robin. But all days must end, and now it's time for bedtime. Let's find Christopher in the dark. Here he is, in the dark. I've had my supper, and had my supper, and had my supper and all. I've heard the story of Cinderella and how she went to the ball. I've cleaned my teeth, and I've said my prayers, and I've cleaned and said them right. And they've all of them been and kissed me lots. They've all of them said good night. So, here I am in the dark alone. There's nobody here but me. I think to myself, I play to myself, and nobody knows what I say to myself. Here I am in the dark alone. What is it going to be? I can think whatever I like to think. 
I can play whatever I like to play. I can laugh whatever I like to laugh. There's nobody here but me. I'm talking to a rabbit. I'm talking to the sun. I think I am a hundred. I'm one. I'm lying in a forest. I'm lying in a cave. I'm talking to a dragon. I'm brave. I'm lying on my left side. I'm lying on my right. I'll play a lot tomorrow. I'll think a lot tomorrow. I'll laugh a lot uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. In the end of this beautiful and famous and very wonderful book, Christopher takes some time to review his life so far. This last poem is called The End. When I was one, I had just begun. When I was two, I was nearly new. When I was three, I was hardly me. When I was four, I was not much more. When I was five, I was just alive. But now I am six. I'm as clever as clever. So I think I'll be six now, forever and ever. And he jumps up and down for joy. Six now, forever and ever. And so ends this beautiful poetry book all about Christopher Robin. Ah, but I have one last thing to show you. This, my friends, is a picture of the real Christopher Robin. Yes, that is his father, the man who wrote this book, A. A. Milne, and his real son, the real Christopher Robin, he wrote this book for and about his own son and his son's best friend, his real teddy bear. And his teddy bear's name is Pooh. Oh, I so hope you've enjoyed this time with me. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye now.